Hi guys, Splicer here. Now for the past few days I've been playing the For Honor closed beta. I wanted to bring the pros and cons that i found for the game. Uh, for those guys that haven't been lucky enough or didn't want to play the beta. Um, or just didn't know it was on. Now because it's a beta, obviously we haven't got access to every option that's going to be available when the final game is launched. But you do have access to the multiplayer um, and all of the different aspects that that involves. So it's broken down into three different game types. So it'll be the 1v1, which is a duel, uh, 2v2, which is called Brawl, and 4v4, which is Domination, which is sort of the poster boy for the multiplayer within this game. Then you have an overall multiplayer, which is called Faction War, which is a cross-platform sort of map where all three factions fight against each other uh, to dominate that landscape, which is a good concept, um, and I think they do put it into good practice in this game. So if you see here, this is the Faction War map. So you can see the three factions um, that are sort of fighting to dominate that landscape. You have orders that you'll do daily, sort of daily orders, um, and then the contracts that you can take out yourself and you'll choose a variety of ones you want and then an event that will be going on at that time. So it's another sort of way to keep you entertained in the multiplayer, which is good. And as you can see there, the different fronts will be changed by each individual game. So you have the 2v2, 4v4 and the dual 1v1. Now I'm going to be honest with you from the start here, and I think the multiplayer in this game is pretty flat. So the concept itself is awesome, the gameplay is awesome, um, and the way that they incorporate sort of the 1v1 combat system is really, really good. However, there's not enough depth within the multiplayer options and games, or game modes, um, to keep you coming back. So for example, the dual 1v1, it's a, it's a great concept, and if you go up against a good player, you can then have great duels between them, and it's extremely rewarding when you then defeat that player after a long duel. But again, Coming back to that game mode, it's only going to last so long because it's exactly the same. It's sort of similar to a fighting game you'd have, where you could change players and change the maps that you're on. Um, but again, it would just boil down to that fighting, which a plus side to this game is they sort of combated the button bashers, where you can it's a little bit more in depth and you can actually defend. And that's it. the combat system is very good. It's just it needs more to it. But when you look at domination, which is the four v four. It does give you what I expected the game would give you. So when, I, when Ubisoft announced the game a few years ago, they played it as if you were a hero and you had a medieval army behind you and you were going to storm a castle or a fort or that sort of thing. And Domination sort of gives you that, but it's nowhere near the scale that I thought the game would be. That might, might be my fault, the way I thought it was going to be, but it just feels like it's lacking the scale in what we were promised. So, Domination is the best game mode, I think, where, again, it's four of you and you go against four others. However, you, there are a lot of sort of AI grunts, soldiers on the ground that sort of get in your way. But again, talking about depth, they don't really get involved in the, in the fighting. You can stand in a crowd of the enemy troops um, where they sort of scratch away at your health, but you can just stand there all day without flinching and it's quite reasonable and then easy enough to kill them you just hit the the light attack button once and you can just take them out easy so they're just there as sort of formality to make it look a bit bigger than it is but really they don't really bring much to the game it's also clear playing domination that the game was designed for 1v1 duels in its optimum capacity so if you find yourself out on the battlefield you've just defeated an enemy and then two or three of his, his friends come along you're going to lose against those three so you can take on one quite reasonably, but then any more than that, you're going to need your friends to come in. So domination with a team of four, and you've all got mics and you can speak to each other, you are going to dominate that battlefield against people that aren't working together as a team. Which I guess you could take it as a different aspect to what duel and the brawl sort of game modes don't, let you, don't allow you to do. So I, I sort of feel like I'm being a bit negative with this game at the moment, but... I'm just saying that it needs a bit more depth to the game modes to keep players coming back. So don't get me wrong, the game is really good, it plays really well and it looks great. And you can see they've really worked hard to get the combat system quite unique to the game and it brings a lot of uh, you know, a rewarding gameplay to it. Equally you can see they spent a lot of time with customization of the heroes that you've got. So at the time of this beta you've got nine heroes that you can use and I'm sure they'll bring in more unlockable characters as you go through. 
But for each character you've got, you can then customize with the different clothes they're wearing, uh, the colors that they wear, uh, and the emblem and badge that you have as well. You can then put that onto your character, which makes them unique. So the customization side of things and the combat side of things are really good. I would just love to see another game mode in. And that game mode, if I could suggest it would be, would be what the game was sold on. So you'd be maybe maybe 1v1, so like a duel, but you'll be a hero in charge of an army or a hero in amongst an army. And then you would be able to control or influence that battle where you can then go attack a castle or a fort and then the other player will be defending that. And it would just give the game the depth that I believe the time frame and the setting will allow to happen. See, maybe they'll have this incorporated into the single player, because I know you can play the single player obviously on your own or co-op as well, and maybe it'll be incorporated in that. But so far from the reviews that I've read, uh, the single player, again, <laughs> sort of lacks depth, and it seems the focus seems to be on 1v1 duels. But anyway, needless to say, I am enjoying aspects of this game. I just think for this game to last, they're going to have to bring in a different game mode to keep those players coming back, and at the moment they don't have that. I was going to go into sort of connectivity issues and players not being able to get onto player v player matches at the moment in beta, but obviously it is a beta at the moment, and I think those issues might should get ironed out before the launch of the game. However, on that point, when people rage quit in this game, I think there should be a punishment to prevent them from doing that, or to sort of put players off from doing it, because it's very easy for them just to quit. And the way the the game's set up at the moment, the majority of the time when the lead character leaves the game it will go back to the main menu and you will lose that game, which is not ideal. And again, with 1v1, 1v1 duels, uh, if you rage quit, <laughs> and then the game will just end, and you won't get the points that you should get. So anyway, they should give a, a punishment for that. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. How are you getting on with the closed beta? Or if you haven't, what are you expecting from the game at launch? No, please let me know down, down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.